Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am sitting in front of Hannaford today. It is a Sunday afternoon and I need peanuts. I just cracked open my last batch of peanuts and I know that if I don't have some in the house, I'll probably panic. So I don't think I'll need more today, but just in case I do, I want to make sure I have them. I do snack on them generally at night, so it's better that I have some in the house. Since I'm here, I'm also going to pick up milk, bread for my mother, and eggs. I guess I can also look to see if they have any meat with markdown stickers, but I don't really want to do much shopping. But I will take the camera with me, just in case something exciting happens and I want to show you. I do have a few things that I want to talk to you about. I'm gonna, gonna just wait for that guy right there to not be standing right in front of me. <laughs> I'm quite animated, in case you haven't noticed, and if I'm doing stuff like this, I attract attention! He's gone. What was I talking about? I don't remember. Oh yes, one thing so important. I'm so excited. Today we hit 2,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. 2001 when I left the house. So I am so excited about that. You just can't believe it. And here's what's so cool about it. I'm starting to get to know some of my subscribers who have found me just on YouTube. I'm starting to get to know you like I've known my Deals by Darlene followers all these past almost five years. So it's like there's another whole family out there that I'm going to get to meet and I'm just so happy about that. But what's really cool is when I started my channel in August of 2014, I was 17 months before I got to 1,000 subscribers. It was slow going. I was trying very hard to get to 1,000 before the end of 2015 so that, you know, I could start the new year with 1,000 subscribers, but we didn't quite make it. But when we rolled over into January, it was probably like the second week in January that I did finally hit the 1,000 mark. And then, all of a sudden, I started getting subscribers like a lot a day and then I also noticed that I was getting comments on an old video that I had posted at the time like three months previously so I have figured out what happened there's a haircutting video that I posted about five months ago that video just sat there for three months and got its usual one or two hundred views. You know, that most of my videos, that's what they were getting for views. And then all of a sudden, it started getting a lot of views and a lot of comments. And I said, well, that must be where the new subscribers are coming from. So I didn't really pay much attention, you know, and then it just kept happening and then happening and happening. And I'm like, what is going on? So I looked in my YouTube analytics and I was able to tell that the traffic was coming from what they call a suggested video. So when you're like watching YouTube, whatever device you're on, you know, there'll be sometimes uh, videos on the side or you will get it like on your feed, things that are suggested or whatever. So I don't know how YouTube determines what they put out there, but thank you YouTube for picking my haircutting video to put out there as one of the suggested videos. I do get a lot of comments saying I found you because of a haircutting video and I got hooked and you don't know how happy that makes me. Not only that you found me by something that YouTube nicely did, then also that you say you got hooked. I'm like, <laughs> so the last time I checked that haircutting video, I was over 40,000 views, which is in my world, viral. I mean, I know a viral video is like a million and more, but to me, that's viral because I don't get that many views on my videos. So in the two months since that video got circulated by YouTube, I have gained another whole thousand subscribers in two months. That's awesome. I'm even recognizing some names when there's comments. And now I'm getting comments galore. I wasn't getting comments on YouTube at all. And I just I just love the comments. And I'm actually going to do a video at some point reading comments that people left me. Some of them are kind of funny. But for the most part, people are very, very polite. I think I probably attract an audience that is a little bit older. So, you know, they're 
probably, you know, from the generation where you don't leave smutty, lousy, rotten, hateful, hurtful remarks on people's social media. So I do get a couple and a couple I even leave because they're kind of funny. So that's what happened to me with YouTube and the timing could not have been more perfect because another thing I want to chat about is that I have finally decided the direction that my life is going to go in. I knew YouTube would be involved and it is, but I just didn't know quite what to do with uh, my regular Deals by Darlene blog. So it's been a whole week of turmoil, changing my mind back and forth, trying to figure it out. But with this new online family that I'm creating on YouTube, I'm not afraid to move to that part of the world. I feel like I know Many of my old followers will come with me. I know some just won't for whatever reason. They're just not interested in that part of my world. I understand that. But the thought of having a new family somewhere else, it just pleases me to no end. So my new YouTube subscribers, thank you from the bottom of my heart for doing that and for leaving comments. Such nice heartfelt comments because you don't realize that you have completely helped me to make the decisions that I had to make. So I'm so happy, happy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Really, you helped me a great deal. So what I'm going to do now is I am not going to get the Shaw's Flyer on Monday. And look, look how happy that makes me. <laughs> I feel bad for you guys who look forward to the flyer. We're trying to get somebody else to do it. And um, if that person can't, somebody else might be able to fill in. I'm still planning if they get the images, I can put that on the Simply Shaw's blog. There will no longer be actual like coupon deals on Deals by Darlene blog because that blog is finally going to what it should have been in the first place. My domain name is DarleneMishu.com. So that blog is going to be rebranded as just Darlene Michaud and it's going to be what I, Darlene Michaud, enjoy. So it's going to be more crafts, videos, um, and just other things if I want to share secrets with you on how to earn either with a blog or on YouTube or whatever, you know, it's just going to be that kind of a blog now. And then it will have links on the sidebar to other blogs you can go to for the deals that you want. For instance, I own Simply Shaw's blog. That's another blog I had started. We're going to try to beef that one up all Shaw's deals will now be posted on that blog. You'll be able to find it from my old Deals by Darlene blog at DarleneMishu.com. I'll still be putting it on my Deals by Darlene Facebook page. And, you know, we're going to just make it work. And also, I'm going to link you to the Hannaford blog and to that group. And I'll direct you to the Shaw's Coupon Gossip group so you can join that group. So there's going to be places for you. And um, I will find what you need. And DarleneMishu.com is going to be like the hub of all that I do. You'll be able to find my crafts, my videos, whatever, sewing projects, my clothes. When I start making clothes to sell again, that will be there. So that's, that's the changes I'm making. And and I'm feeling very, very good about it. I really am. It was time. I knew it's been time for probably a while, but I just couldn't let go. It was so scary. And I'm telling you, things happen. They, it, it just always seems to fall into place for me when it comes to like making a living for myself. It's just, it's just the one thing that pat myself on the back. I'm good at. I'm just good at that. It's because I think I just believe so wholeheartedly that all is possible that I don't worry and stress out. I do, you know, get scared of change, but yet change excites me so much that, you know, it's like I want to go get it. But um, so I'm happy right now with my choices that I've made. I am absolutely thrilled with the support from my followers who have been with me for a long time, supporting me all through this, saying, you know, don't worry, we'll be there. And then this new online family that I'm getting from YouTube from all over the world. I mean, it's just, I just love it when you say what country you're from. It's like, oh my gosh, you know, today somebody was from Sweden. Yesterday was uh, Iceland. It's 
like, oh my goodness, I just love it so much. I'm very curious to see if my number of subscribers will go up. You know, the way I look at things, if I can make 2,000 subscribers, I just need one more zero to be 20,000. One more zero after that to be 200,000. It can be done and I can do it. I guarantee you, I will get there. Maybe this will be what I do for the next five years. And then after that, probably something else. Who knows? But I'm just so happy. I'm happy with my choices that I've made. I'm comfortable. I'm not scared anymore. I'm excited. And one thing about my mother, I'm going to give her credit for that. Both my mother and father, they were go for it kind of people. If I came home from a job when I worked at places like Sprague's or whatever, and I, I liked working. I always liked making money. It was like you have to make money to get through life. And I enjoyed that. But if I came home and said, I don't know if I can do this for another day, it would be like, um, quit. Just quit and find something that you like better. It's out there. So um, that's what I've always done. So I, I can always say that I've enjoyed what I do, whether it was cocktail waitressing or bartending or, you know, doing an advertising business. I mean, everything I've done, I liked. So I'm lucky in that aspect. And I would like to share some of those things with you guys, too. I have a lot of ideas for videos. Now that I won't be doing the Shaw's Flyer, the bulk of my business now is no longer deals. It's going to be other things. I'm going to try to do at least one video, whether it's a quickie or a tutorial on crafting or whatever. I'm going to try to do one video a day, aiming for that. You know, it might not be full of substance every time, but hey, sometimes at night I just want to kick back and read some Facebook comments or whatever. I mean, that's always fun for me, and it seems to be fun for you guys, so we're just going to have fun. And I hope my old family comes with me. I hope I get a whole brand new family out there that, that I can connect with and um, just know that I appreciate all of you. I really, really do. So I'm going to go in the store. I'm going to take you with me, see if I can show you anything, and um, I'll chat with you again when I come out. Let's go! Okay, I'm in the chip aisle, but I'm not buying chips. This is where they have my peanuts, and, and these are the peanuts that I get. Hampton Farms. I get one bag of salted and one bag of unsalted, and they are five-pound bags for $5.99. And then, my mother likes these Canada mints, and I can't get those at Walmart. And I get them at Rogers usually, but here they have the Hannaford brand, so they're only $1.49 a bag. So I'm getting a bag of each for her. Their large white eggs are only $1.69 a dozen. That's cheap for the prices we've been paying lately, so I'm getting two dozens, and did I say dozens? I'm getting two dozen. And um, yes, I always check my eggs. And you know, don't always just check to see if they're cracked. Move them because sometimes they're stuck to the bottom. Just my tip for the day. And then my mother asked, she goes, do they still make that cheese that comes in a box? I'm like, yes, they do. She means Velveeta. So I'm going to get her some. Now, I wanted to get a smaller box, but uh, this is all they have here. But at least it's store brand. And I think it's $5.49 for this two pound box and she will like that with her mac and cheese or to make a sandwich and the carbs are not bad on this I mean it's not like outrageously high it's only um two grams of carbs two of sugar I'm not really big on cheese because it's something that I can almost be addicted to so I, I tend to just stay away from it I'm gonna get her bread now look at me being brave with my arm up while walking through the store <laughs> having a hard time I'm trying so hard to get away with recording with all these people around but anyway I caught my mother a giant white bread 99 cents hi hello how are you I'm good how are you pretty really good oh my god it was Santa Claus I'll show you <laughs> going back in the car I'll talk to you there I'm back. I just moved up a space. The person in front of me had moved, so... You know, it's funny, I still prefer to chat with you right here in the parking lot. You know, I could take you home with me and chat with you from my driveway, but I think it's because there's people going by and I get to do some people watching while chatting with you, so... But I like to be able to pull out by going forward and not... Ah, ah, turning my neck. I feel safer this way. 
<sighs> well, there was one part of my conversation with you in the store that we did not get because sometimes I forget that my camera is on and I put it down and then when I pick it up to record again, I push the little button, but I'm really turning it off now instead of on. So I told you a cute story about a man who talked with me and he was quite handsome. <laughs> I was so like happy that I spoke to someone and didn't like pass out from social anxiety that another man comes by me and he was like the perfect guy for me to like interview. I'm dying to stop someone in a store. Scares me to just think about it. But I'm dying to stop somebody in the store and say, would you like to be on my YouTube video? It's like, I just want to do that. And of course, I'm drawn to elderly people because they don't look at others so much like they're weird because they're old. So they're probably weird too. So also elderly people they just seem so willing to always talk because I don't think they always have a lot of people to talk to and anyway this man walked by and he just we just caught each other's eyes and I said hi and he goes hello and I said how are you and he goes good how are you and I said good and I was like can you be on my video but I just couldn't spit out the words and I think if I would have said it like that I might have scared him anyway. So, didn't do it, but I'm in the right direction. I'm getting there. I'm getting brave. But he looked like Santa, and I, like, walked away and was trying to hold the camera so you could see. I think you're going to see a tiny little glimpse of him if it makes it through the editing. I think I talked about everything I wanted to talk about, except for... Did I touch on the fact that, yes, I will be making more videos, some short videos, some longer videos. I actually have quite a few people who say they like longer videos. It's like, Rrr. I can't imagine anyone wanting more time with me. I got to tell you, last night I did a video laying on the bed. It was awesome. So you can expect more of those. I was just so comfy on the pillow, resting my back. But it's funny that I can't sleep in a bed. I just can't. I have to sleep on a couch. I just cannot sleep in a bed. I need to be like cradled into the back of a, of a couch. But it was awesome laying up there and chatting with you guys. I felt like I was like at some slumber party, you know, just chatting away. I was really, really embarrassed embarrassed to post that one. I'm so many times I have a video and I'm like, I can't put this out there. I mean, like I said, you've seen me with, you know, big crying videos and just, you know, <laughs> dyeing my hair. I mean, just, just really, really weird things. But every time I put something out there, that's going to be, it's like, this is the last straw. They're going to all leave me. You guys will be like, oh my God, you look so comfy talking to us from your bed. Going to do that one again because it was very, very comfortable. Oh, and I want to mention that feel free to ask me questions in the comments. And then I can start a series of answering those questions on a video. Can't promise you I'll answer them, but I, you know, certainly can do some. You can ask me just about anything you want. I don't care if it's personal. If it's too personal, I just don't answer it, but I'm pretty open, so I don't know. Probably answer anything. Thank you once again, and welcome to all my new subscribers. I'm so happy that you have joined the party, and I hope to be, you know, giving you a nice variety of content. I'm enjoying this. I absolutely love YouTube. You know it is my therapy. And I'm very anxious to get my blog to doing stuff beyond deals. The deals blog was very good to me for almost five years. And I appreciate it. And I certainly don't look at letting it go as a failure in any way. It just ran its course. And this will run its course too. Someday people will look back and say, remember that thing people used to do called YouTube? You know, nothing is forever. So I'm just going to go for the ride while the ride is running. And I want you with me. I got somebody is like right next to me. Uh, oh, he looked. <laughs> Could it be because I'm looking like this? <laughs> Let's let him go so I can say bye properly. Any day now. <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I really, really do. Bye.